I'm scared my footsteps are like Mr. X's footsteps. Okay, I need to get back to... Let's see. This brings me here, so I'd have to go like... Let's go here. Let me check the map. I need to go like... Yeah, I need to go like here and then like down there. Oh, come on, Mr. Axe. Really? Where is he? Oh, you fucking... Oh, God, I missed his hat. I missed his hat, and he's mad. All right. <laughs> he's trying to get through the door. Yeah, screw you, Anger Hat. All right, let's try to kite him again. Sometimes he just walks, like, super-duper fast, and catches up to you and he'll punch you but again once you once you've had some experience with mr x you know how to tame the beast for the most part and uh, he's not too bad when you use his slowness against him and you know what what rooms you can go in and not and not get screwed over probably gonna be some more zombies around here just gonna avoid them for the time being oh god so that actually scared me a little bit not gonna lie. Not too bad. Got a little bit of a scare, but I'm good. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the safe room now. I can decompress, drink a little water, creak my chair, really just kind of soak in the piano here for a little bit. What a great song. I love this song. This piece of music so good. Alright, we'll store all this stuff. I need this. Uh, I should probably keep the grenades on me. I'm probably going to potentially need these flash grenades too, because I know a part coming up here kind of sucks. Let me organize this real quick. I'm probably just going to make magnum ammo with this stuff for now. Five bullets, that's pretty good. You probably only get, like, two or three on hardcore. I also have hiccups now. So that's good. Alright, so I got this stuff. I'm probably going to need this stuff. You know what? I'm going to take... What am I going to take? What am I going to take? What am I going to take here? Uh, just in case I get into a lot of trouble, I'm going to take one of these. Just so I can get a defense boost. Also guards against poison. Fully heals and restores, plus it reduces damage taken and guards against poison for a short period. It's a pretty uh, pretty beefy combo there, but just, just in case I need the damage reduction, I'll have that. I don't exactly know the best way to get through this next part. That gets kind of annoying, but you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about when I get there. It won't be too long from now. Don't know where Mr. X is. He's still pounding around. Should I save? Maybe. You know, I'll save. Screw it. Why not? Alright, I think we're... Pretty good to go. I don't think we'll be coming back, so... Turn off the lights and... Say goodbye to our beautiful piano save room. Get the heck out of here. There might, be, there might be more dogs down here, but I think I killed them all earlier, so. I think that they might be dead, but I'm not sure. Where do I even need to go? I need to go there. Where's there? Is it over there? Yeah. I guess all the dogs are gone because I killed them, so that's good. I guess maybe I normally leave them alive and just dodge them, but I did such a bad I did such a bad job dodging them earlier that like I just had to kill them. Now we've got another puzzle. And this puzzle might be kind of annoying. I know I've said that about every puzzle so far, but this is probably actually one of the more annoying puzzles. But maybe not really. Let's see, do that. Hmm. How does this work? 
If I need to get, like, both of these to, like... Can I do that? What about this? Ooh. Dang it, I only have one. I only have one of these lights done. Unfortunately. Oh, there we go. Nice. I did it! Yay! Hopefully I don't have to do it again. Alright, so this is the spot that can be, like, really annoying. I'm gonna equip this. Because, unfortunately, Mr. X shows up at a very bad time. Wasn't very happy about that. By the way, screw Annette. Annette is probably actually worse than Billy Birkin, to be honest. And then this is just a transcript of what happened. I really don't like Annette. Annette is actually worse than than Billiam. Hmm. So, ooh, first hate spray. What? Ben's memo. The station's swarming with monsters. Even here, I, I can hear their cries, but it's not the zombies I'm afraid of. Codename Tyrant, the ultimate bioweapon, developed by those bastards in the utmost secrecy. To think that that thing might be wandering around here. Chances are they've ordered it to wipe out the, the witnesses. What are they after? So basically just explains Mr. X's purpose. Big old tyrant That's walking around. And now there's a jailbreak. But we're going to go ahead and do this. Go this way. I'm going to make sure that I can use my flashbang. Because Mr. X is here. He's a Give big a fucking asshole. Uh, what else do I want? I'm probably actually going to use a grenade. I hope I don't get hit by him. Sometimes he swings even though you stun him. Go ahead and throw that. Hope for the best. Nice. This area is actually really annoying to get through if you don't have, like, previous knowledge. Uh, it can be really annoying. And Mr. X is going to choke us out, because that's what he's into. And Ada's going to run him over, because that's what she's into, so. A little bit of uh, something for everybody here. <laughs> Saving your ass, that's twice. I didn't realize you were keeping score. Look, this isn't a game. You gotta be kidding me. Nothing dies down here. I take it you have the key card. Yeah, and this. I was hoping you could explain what's on it. Maybe. After I hear it. Let's get out of here. Well, you don't have to tell me twice, Ada. Hey, you want to see me swap my guns, Ada? Where are you going, Ada? Come on. I practiced all day doing this. Look. Look, Ada. This is why I hate Ada. This is one of the many reasons I hate Ada. Look, Ada. Look, Ada. Come on. Aren't you impressed? Look. She doesn't care. Yeah, of course the game wouldn't let me shoot her. Is that the intel you needed? Unfortunately, no. Ben didn't come through. Well, what exactly are you looking for? More info on the people responsible for this mess. What about you? Trying to save the world? 
I told Lieutenant Brenna I'd bring help. Good luck getting that. I guess this is the, like the other part of the streets. If you're Claire, you get to go through that gate right there and continue on. But other than that, this is probably the other section of the streets that got kind of moved. We have the uh, the classic Jeep parked outside of uh, the gun shop. Instead of the gun shop being in pretty much the very beginning of the game, it's moved to here. And uh, I think his name is Robert, Robert Kendo. He uh, his character is quite a bit different in this game. He he doesn't really have that much more of a. He he's kind of like more important because he also shows up in Resident Evil Three, and I don't think he was in the original Resident Evil Three at all. Um, but his character is pretty minor in the original game. Um, he just kind of lets you into the gun store, and you can end up getting a shotgun, an early shotgun from him, or an early bow gun if you're Claire. I can't remember. Um, but, yeah, he basically just kind of helps you out a little bit. He lets you in the store, and then he gets eaten pretty quick. Uh, and in this game, he's a little bit different. Road's out. Going through that gun shop looks like the only way. It's also kind of funny because in the original game, he, like, immediately starts hitting on Claire. And his whole tone changes once he sees Claire, but he doesn't really give a shit if you're Leon. But... Uh, his character is definitely more focused on his daughter in this game. Whereas I don't think his daughter was brought up at all in the original game. But uh, yeah, his, de his character was definitely changed a little bit. And probably made better, to be honest. Kind of disappointed that he doesn't hit on Claire immediately, because it was kind of funny. But, you know, I understand, I understand why they changed it. Pretty funny. Kendo, it seems like you've got your reasons for staying put, so I'll trust you to take care of yourself. Still, if things get worse and your other arrangements don't work out, you know where to find me. I'll do everything I can. From good old Jill. Jill Valentine. Hopefully we'll be seeing her soon. Uh, not not in the re not in Resident Evil 2 Remake, because I don't think she shows up at all. But uh, if I do play the Resident Evil 3 Remake, we're going to have to see a little bit of Jill, because she's basically the one of the main characters, so there's no really getting around that. And I don't. it's not like I dislike Jill. I like Jill. Jill's fine. I like I like old Jill. Like once you get to like Resident Evil 5 Jill, like man, I don't know what they were doing. Don't move. I'm not going to hurt you. I said don't move. I'm just passing through. I'm going to ask you to lower that weapon. I tell you what. You got to turn around and go right back out the way you came in. I think your daughter needs help, sir. Don't tell me how to deal with my daughter. Drop it. No! Wait! Step aside. We need to terminate her before she turns. Terminate? That's my fucking daughter. Ada. Just let them be. Emma? Sweetheart, I told you to stay put. Dad. they did to us you're a cop you're supposed to know something how did this happen huh she was our sweet little angel mommy i'm asleep babe honey okay and i'm gonna you to bed too, okay? Emma. Just go. Just give us some privacy. It's one thing to keep the truth from me, but why him? I 
I want to find out what's happening here and stop whoever's behind it. Helping people like them? That's why I joined the force. My mission is to take down Umbrella's entire operation. We may not make it out. Whatever it takes to save this city, count me in. All right, well, obviously some pretty screwed up stuff happening. Definitely a lot different than the original uh, Kendo you meet in original Resident Evil 2, but I'm not sure exactly what Maybe happens to him. Corporation? I guess I, Ada's is going to talk, so. Secretly making bio weapons. Go ahead, Ada. Why they not? They have a virus. It turns people into indestructible monsters. That explains the horrible things I've seen. I know she's not done. Too bad I don't get to reflect on what just happened because we have to listen to Ada run her mouth. Birkin. She's the one at Umbrella responsible for unleashing the virus. I'm going to bring her down. Ada, can you walk a little faster, please? Block me a little bit, Ada. This is why no one likes you, Ada. Get out of the way, Ada. Have I mentioned that I don't like Ada? I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but... Based on what you've said... The sewer seems fitting. Well said. After you. Gee, thanks. But yeah, unfortunately, I don't know. Imagine a real Dang it, Leon. Down here. According to HQ, this leads right into Umbrella's secret facility. Come on. Sewers are run by the city. How could they have a facility without the authorities knowing? Welcome to corporate America. Umbrella's controlled Raccoon City for years. Jesus! That an earthquake? I sure as hell hope so. Alright, well, Ada and Leon like talking a lot here, but that's just how it is, you know. What the hell? Stay shot. God only knows what's down here. No, nothing good, that's for sure. Get a nice item box that I can dump that into and not sure what else I'll need. I probably don't need three healing items, that's for sure. And I guess I'll put away this flashbang, too. Hmm, mm, mm, mm. I'm not sure what I want to do. Well, let's save. Let's go ahead and give it a save. And move on. I'm sure they, they've got more things to say, so... Not sure. I guess Ada's not coming with us. But yeah, the whole the whole Kendo thing is definitely a lot different than the original game. I'm not exactly sure what happens to him. Um, probably just implied that he stays here and dies somehow, but they never really show him dying. You do hear a shotgun uh, blast go off, but he was talking about putting his daughter to sleep, so it's probably implied that. Again? It's not too late to turn back. No Probably chance. implied that he You're shoots her. Me to the end. Though I guess he also could have shot himself, but I'm not sure. Just sad stuff all around. Ugh. You sure this is the right way? Unfortunately. Wait there. Also pretty funny that they work in the alligator, crocodile, whatever the hell it is from the original game. So it's just it's just a little bit different. Leon! Get out of there! And we gotta run away. You can just have to go like left and right. And it's it's not too Holy hard, but shit. you you can definitely die uh, pretty easily if you mess up and don't get out of the way. But, yeah, the, the alligator segment is, like, pretty short, just like the original game. Nothing too crazy. And it's just immediately dead, so. <laughs> pretty funny that they kept this in the game. It was, like, it was like so out of place. You overgrown son of a bitch. 
You overgrown son of a bitch. I feel like the alligator crocodile, whatever the hell it is, was pretty out of place in the original game, but... I don't know, kind of interesting that it's still... They, they brought it back, and it's basically just as easy to kill. Up here. What the hell was... Just get up here. Can't say I didn't warn you. You said the virus turned people into monsters, not reptiles. Fair point. I'm just impressed you made it in one piece. Yeah, well, I almost died, but no thanks to you. I did everything again. Ada, can we go? Do I have to do something? No. So let me get this straight. Umbrella sells monsters like that to who? Our military? Somebody else's? They don't sell the monsters. They sell the viruses that make them. And Annette is who makes the viruses. Scary as that alligator was, Annette is far more dangerous. All right, well, we've made it past all that. A lot of talking between Ada and Leon here. And we've got another typewriter. No safe room music, though, unfortunately. I don't think we really hear the safe room theme again. Which kind of sucks, but... I'm going to go ahead and save here. And I'm going to call it here. And when we come back next time, we'll start moving through the sewers, I'm pretty sure. Um, the sewers kind of suck. I... They really suck. I don't I don't really like the sewers too much, but that's what we're going to take on next time we come back. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys then.